Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is November 10th, 2022, and I am very excited to be able to share with you tonight about what I am seeing. And uh, I just want to say to everyone that I have been watching December since the middle of August. Uh, I know that many people were getting on me because we had to watch through September and October with the Feast of Trumpets and the Feast of Tabernacles. But I was seeing beyond that all the way back in August. I have a video list of over 20 videos that I have been putting together over the last weeks and months. And now we are coming up tomorrow on uh, November 11th one of the highest watch days that many many people are looking at between the blood moon of November 8th and the day of the flood on November 11th but I am seeing very very powerful and clear signs that could be pointing us to Hanukkah in December and I want to share with you tonight a number of things that uh, we are seeing and uh, I just want to bring forth more than anything else the biblical reason why we should all be watching Hanukkah okay Hanukkah is a feast that Jesus celebrated it is in the New Testament there is many things uh, that have been pointing to Hanukkah over the last years many many signs that have come on Hanukkah and we need to pay attention to what God is showing us right now this could be a final climactic time leading us to Hanukkah in December of 2022 and this is what I want to share uh, with you now just to begin here I want to bring forth this piece of information why did Jesus celebrate the Feast of Dedication? John 10 shows us it was now winter. Jesus was in Jerusalem at the time of Hanukkah, the Festival of Dedication. He was in the temple walking through the section known as Solomon's Colonnade. Jesus was in the temple. He was teaching the people during winter during the feast of the dedication which is Hanukkah okay why is Hanukkah mentioned in the New Testament why do we see the feast of dedication mentioned in the New Testament if this was not in the Old Testament because something very very important happened and Hanukkah began in the intertestamental period 168 years before the coming of Christ it was during the silent years between Malachi and Matthew during the time of the Maccabees this is not written in the uh, canon of Scripture but it is shown to us in the New Testament this should not be overlooked my dear brothers and sisters this should not be overlooked this is written in the Word of God Jesus was in Jerusalem it was winter and he was speaking to the people from the temple during the Feast of Dedication okay so this is one of the most important things that I I want to share with you that together with all of these other signs why are we receiving signs that are pointing to Hanukkah well, there is a biblical precedent. There's a biblical reason given to us. And Jesus celebrating Hanukkah is the most important piece of information that we could ever uh, see. And we should not disregard this fact. The next piece of information I want to share with you is that John chapter 10, if you continue reading on from verse 22 and on where it shows us already that Jesus is in the temple, he's talking to the people, it's the feast of dedication. Well, it was in the same passage 
on Hanukkah, on the Feast of Dedication, that Jesus began talking to the people about the snatching or the harpasso. Greek 726 is shown to us in John chapter 10 during the timing of Hanukkah. It says, My sheep hear my voice. I give eternal life to them. They will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. Snatch is the word in Greek, harpasso. It is the word that is used in Revelation chapter 12 when it talks about the woman being caught up to God. The word used in Thessalonians when it says we are caught up to God. Okay, and, and we will be to, joined with Christ in the clouds being caught up to him in the clouds. This is the word that is being used here. This is Hanukkah. This is written in John chapter 10. So you can do a word search on Greek 726 and you will see that Harpaso is used three different times in John chapter 10. Another very important piece of information that we should not overlook that the Harpaso is mentioned together with the timing of Hanukkah in John chapter 10. Now the other thing we need to understand is that Hanukkah holds a key to understanding the reference of Daniel to the abomination of desolation. It was during the timing of Hanukkah that, that the abomination of desolation was set up when the Syrian king Antiochus Epiphanes set up an altar in the temple of God, a, an altar of Zeus, and sacrificed pigs on the altar in the Holy of Holies. This is referred to as the abomination of, just, of desolation that the temple was defiled. Jesus re referenced the abomination of desolation in Matthew chapter 24. And he showed us that when you see the abomination of desolation according to the prophet Daniel. Now there's another part of this that confirms that the abomination of desolation is connected to Hanukkah. And that is when Jesus mentions the timing of winter. Pray ye that your flight be not in winter, neither on the Sabbath day, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And so it's talking about the abomination of desolation, and it's talking about winter. Remember here how we saw in John chapter 10 that it was now winter and Jesus was in Jerusalem at the time of Hanukkah, the festival of dedication. And now in Matthew chapter 24, it talks about the abomination of desolation and it also references winter. We have very important pieces of information that are coming together about the timing of winter, about the timing of the Feast of the Dedication, about the abomination of desolation, and all of this information is coming together to give us understanding. Jesus celebrating the Feast of Dedication, showing us that this was in winter, showing us that the abomination of desolation occurred during Hanukkah in the timing of winter. Now it goes on to say that then there shall be great tribulation. When? It's showing us the timing of winter. So as we're coming up upon the winter season and the Feast of the Dedication, this should be a very important watch time for all of us that should not be overlooked. Okay? And this is part of the reason that God has left all of these signs that we are going to be seeing that have come on Hanukkah over these past years. The next very important piece of information that we have is from Haggai chapter 2. And it says here that the word of the Lord came a second time to Haggai on the 24th day of of the ninth month, we were shown a few verses earlier that, the, that they're talking about the ninth month 
in verse 18, it talks about the 24th day of the ninth month. And it goes on to say, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I am about to shake the heavens and the earth and to overthrow the throne of kingdoms. I am about to destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the nations and overthrow the chariots and their riders and the horses and their riders shall go down every one by the sword of his brother. So it's talking about the shaking that is coming, the shaking of the heavens and the earth. And it shows us the timing of this is at the 24th day of the ninth month. Now, when is that exactly that? is the eve of Hanukkah just as Hanukkah is beginning on this year leads us right to December 17th December 18th and the beginning of Hanukkah and so this is a time frame that is given to us in the Word of God that on the 24th day of the ninth month the shaking of the heavens and the earth will occur now here is something that many people have forgotten about, but I want to bring to everybody's attention that Comet Ison was one of the greatest signs we have seen. Of all of the signs that have come over these over these last years, Comet Ison was one of the greatest. Now beyond it being one of the greatest signs, I want to share with you that it was also one of the first signs even before the blood moons of 2014 and 2015 everything that led up to everything that happened in 2015 and then even the the revelation 12 sign that happened and all of the things that have hap happened over the over the past years comet i sun was like one of the first signs that that came okay and so this was like one of the greatest wake up calls uh, uh, in this in this whole series of of years and signs that God has given to us, Comet Ison was one of the greatest. Now, one of the the important parts of Comet Ison was the day of its perihelion, where it was coming right on the beginning of Hanukkah. It was actually the very uh, day of of the of the eve of Hanukkah, the twenty fourth day of Kislev, the twenty fourth day of the ninth month, the eve of Hanukkah. As Hanukkah was beginning, and it was also Thanksgiving in the United States, and so it was a it was a it was a sign that they said was coming on Thanksgiving between the United States and Israel, a very important uh, day, and so Hanukkah pointed us to Comet Ison, and Comet Ison pointed us to Hanukkah. Okay, so this is a very important part of these end time signs, and it all began on Hanukkah on November 28th, 2013. Then we have over the last three years, okay, I just want to point this out. Because this is a sign that is not common when it comes to eclipses, having three eclipses in a row, an annual solar eclipse on December 26, 2019, a total solar eclipse on December 14, 2020, and, a, and another total solar eclipse on December 4, 2021, and all three of these eclipses were on Hanukkah. Okay, very important. Now, these there's no eclipse this year on Hanukkah, but the last three years... There have been major eclipses, very powerful eclipses, exactly on Hanukkah three years in a row. That is not common at all for that to happen. Now, the other very important detail that came on Hanukkah was the this uh, eclipse that happened on December 14, 2020, was an eclipse that was the exact middle day of the two great American eclipses. If you go from August 21st, 2017 to April 8th, 2024, and you count the days, 2,422 days, and you go to the exact middle point, which is 1,211 days, in between the two eclipses, you come exactly to December 14, 2020. So this was like what I called at that time as we were watching December 14, 2020, X marks the spot. The right in the middle there, with that X being placed right across the United States, there's another eclipse that happened 
over South America on December 14, 2020. Now, the other thing about this that was so very important was that this was the first day of the of the jabs that were happening um, in the United States. The first doses that were given on December 14, 2020. Okay, and so this was Hanukkah. This was midweek Hanukkah. Uh, the first uh, doses that were being given. The, the another eclipse. This middle eclipse uh, of the two great American eclipses, and all of this was pointing directly to Hanukkah. Okay, can we overlook all of these signs that have been coming over these last years? And how this year, now there's very important signs that are pointing us to Hanukkah this year that I want to share with you. Now the, the last sign, one of the last signs that I want to share with you, and as people are watching November 8th and November 11th, I, I can see uh, from my point of view, I can see beyond the lunar eclipse not as the the sign in and of itself and the exact day that it, as people were watching november 8th and november 11th i could i see my my perspective shows me that there's a 40-day connection from the total lunar eclipse on november 8th 2022 to hanukkah on december 18th okay now the Bible says that the sun will be darkened and the moon will turn to bl turn to blood before the day of the Lord. Okay, and we had the solar eclipse that happened on October 25th, and now we had a, a lunar eclipse that happened on November 8th. Now, one thing about this lunar eclipse is that this is the last total blood moon eclipse until 2025. Okay, we're talking about two and a half years until the next blood moon eclipse okay and the Bible says that the day of the Lord will come after a the moon turns to blood okay so I think this eclipse that we just saw here on November 8th is is one of these climactic signs that is pointing us exactly by a period of 40 days, which if you look in the Bible and look at a, 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 the biblical meaning of the number 40, Moses went up and fasted for 40 days before getting the Ten Commandments. Uh, Elijah fasted for 40 days before confronting the prophets of Baal. Jesus fasted for 40 days before calling his disciples and beginning his ministry 40 days is a period that is so very important throughout the bible and if we're talking about the the, the final sign of god we're talking about the final lead up and period of time before the the rapture of the church and the beginning of the great tribulation i don't think there's anything more powerful than a 40 day connection from the final blood moon that is going to be happening not only in 2022, but not again until March of 2025. This is the final blood moon of all of the blood moons that we have seen leading up to 2014, 2015. And then there was another tetrad of, of, of moons in 2021 and 2022. Now there will not be another blood moon for two and a half years. The Bible is clear that God considers 40 days a spiritually significant time period. And whenever God wanted to prepare someone for his purposes, he took 40 days. Okay, so I think this is where we are right now. The, the blood moon of November 8th and a 40 day, 40 day period leading us to not necessarily the first day of Hanukkah, but it's leading us to the timing of Hanukkah, whether it be December 17th or December 18th or all the way through to the end of Hanukkah on December 25th and 26th. I think we have a time frame that we need to be watching biblically with the understanding that Jesus celebrated the Feast of the Dedication in winter. Midweek Hanukkah just happens to be exactly together with the winter solstice. 
And here we have this timing of winter and the Feast of the Dedication perfectly lining up with a 40-day warning from the blood moon eclipse of November 8th. The other thing that I see very important in all of this is this digital currency that they are saying that is going to begin on December 13th. Now, if we are looking at a final warning, we have a 40-day warning from the blood moon, but if we have another seven-day time period, here we have from December 13th to the timing of the winter solstice midweek Hanukkah, we have another time period here that could be another final warning for us from the beginning of the digital currency and this would be then the final takeover of the government of humanity of the of the United States and of all of the other countries that are also promoting a digital currency where you will have to be connected to everything that the government asks of you otherwise you will not get access to the central bank digital currency you will not be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast that they are promoting okay and so I think that December 13th is a very important day but it's not necessarily the day in and of itself of the rapture but it could be a final warning leading us to the timing of Hanukkah just before Hanukkah we have this amazing uh, connection and sign that is it's coming this is coming the digit the central bank digital currency is coming we can't deny that it's coming and we can't deny the timing of when they're showing this is being promoted why is this coming out at this time is it connected to the timing of Hanukkah okay so these are the things that I see these are the things that the Lord has been leading me to over the last number of years since I received my sign on uh, on Hanukkah in 2012 and then since 2013 and then over the over the last years all of the eclipses that have been happening and now it seems like we're coming to a culmination and a climactic moment in time just as it says it was winter and Jesus was in the temple no one will be snatched out of my father's hands and he talks about the harpazo on the feast of the dedication so this is what I wanted to share with you I pray you guys are all blessed I hope everyone is going to be ready as we're looking at tomorrow is the big day that so many people are going to be watching they are watching I see so many videos that are pointing to today and tomorrow and but I see us going beyond this so what are we going to do if tomorrow it comes and goes November 11th it comes and goes what are you going to be watching next okay I think it will be a grave error for those who look beyond Hanukkah Hanukkah and are going to be looking at uh, the next year the spring feasts and next year at the Feast of Trumpets I don't think we have to go that far I think that all of the signs are leading us to where we are right now we're coming to these final moments and I believe that this is why the Lord has called me to bring everybody's attention front and center to the Feast of the Dedication just as it is written in John chapter 10 Jesus celebrated the Feast of the Dedication. Are you ready for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? I pray you are blessed tonight. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.